a showdown at the border. The Trump administration is doubling down on its zero tolerance policy. Children kept in cages. If you've been watching the news lately, you may be shocked by what's happening to immigrants. You might be wondering, how did we get here? How did a nation of immigrants become so anti-immigrant? The modern anti-immigrant movement can be traced to 1979 when a white nationalist named John Tanton founded the Federation for American Immigration Reform, also known as FAIR, and the Center for Immigration Studies, known as CIS. These organizations have legitimate sounding names, but the truth is they're officially labeled hate groups by the Southern Poverty Law Center, putting them in the same category as the KKK and neo-Nazis. Members of these organizations routinely say incredibly racist and problematic things. FAIR has even accepted $1.2 million from the Pioneer Fund, a pro-eugenics organization. You may remember eugenics as the bogus science popular with the Nazis that claims to link race and intelligence. CIS regularly circulates work by known white supremacists to their email followers. Over the years, these hate groups have amassed an incredible amount of money and power, both in politics and media. Members of these organizations have risen to some of the most powerful positions in our government. But these deep ties in the government are rarely reported on in stories produced by the news media, where members of these hate groups act as commentators supporting and validating the actions of the Trump administration. This connection allows these hate groups to have a huge amount of unchecked political power and media impact. It's no surprise then that immigrants are being treated inhumanely. The people deciding immigration policy and crafting immigrant narratives in the media are the same people who view immigrants as inferior humans. These hate groups have been waging a culture war and they've been winning. It's time to take hate out of the news.